Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we take a look at the Microsoft Security Essentials Alert, which stops people from running any applications to get rid of it. It's a fake antivirus, and uh, basically, as you can see here, unknown Win32 Trojan. Now, no matter what you do in safe mode or on the desktop, it will not let you run any applications, as in RKill, TS, uh, TDSS Killer, uh, Malwarebytes, anything like that. It just won't let you run anything at all. Uh, and also we've got some uh, redirects on here as well which stops us from using it it close, closes the page down so I'm going to show you a way to get rid of that today so first off let's just try and run any programs as you'll see you try to run something and straight away this box pops up it's now allowing me to get this up and shuts it down as you can see okay so it won't allow you to run any programs so what we need to do you can try our kill same thing you can sit there I've heard people saying just keep doing it eventually it will go yes it does but then it stops sometimes and it can be quite frustrating so the first thing you need to do really is go to start run and type in in a run box percentage app data percentage like so and this will open up your application data now if you want to go through this way you can go C drive, uh, documents and settings, test and then application data there is greyed out as you can see. What you'll need to do is click on folder options, view and then show hidden files ok and take the hide the extensions for known file types as well and that will allow you to get into this folder okay so now we're inside here I can see some files in here that don't don't look very good uh, these shouldn't be in here really so what we're going to do is try to rename these files okay like so anything you like it just changes it to stop it from working I can see some folders here that looks a bit moody so we shall uh, try to delete these if we can okay just delete some of these okay so now I've done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the system let's just restart and hopefully they're the file types that are stopping this program from running which will now allow us to run our program if they're not then there'll be somewhere else a DLL file or, or some sort of other file type that's stopping it from running so we'll have a little look they, they do change there's, there's so many different clones for this uh, program there for different areas this one there's no one designated area for this file type but it's normally in the application data okay so now we're up there so what I'm going to do is try to run our kill just get rid of that run our kill let's try and there you go so it's allowing me to run the actual file types now so it was those two files that were inside this application data so we now know but that's just another variant of it it's these two files here we may be able to delete these now which we can because we've renamed them so they look inside this area here and you'll see uh, different file types um, might be a, a, a defender or something like that they're, they're normally different file names people just change them 
So what we're going to do here is just run this. Have a little look and see what it finds. Okay, it's found uh, a file type here. It's terminated this one, use it in it. Okay. Okay, the next thing we want to do is run TDSS Kidder. Start scan. See if there's anything on there. Nothing found, that's good. Now we need to run malware bytes. Always update malware bytes first. And we'll perform a full scan on the C drive. leave that down there for now. I also want to run a scan with super anti-spyware Found 11 infections so far. If you're getting redirects, you can also use TDSS Killer and our kill for redirects so when you open up your web page it'll start redirecting you to advertisement and stuff like that so use it for that as well also change your host file check your DNS settings so we'll just let this run on I'll try and do a video on that type of uh, virus after this one uh, redirects and we'll see if we can find a redirect virus to install and then go from there okay so I'm going to close that off now and we want to perform a complete scan on this one too so I'll just let that run. So it's best to use more than one software to actually scan for your viruses. I'll also fire up C Cleaner, get rid of any junk out of temporary internet files I'll leave all these ticked here now if you've got passwords and stuff you can take these ticks out but if you want to get rid of them all you can do that I also put all these ticks in I'll leave this one out wipe free space because that takes quite a bit of time but if you want to put that in by all means you can do that so we're going to run the cleaner that's all cleaned run it again just to make sure it comes back clean 
registry we'll just make a save setting of that there ok options advanced Take that tick out there. Because I want to delete everything. So go back. Okay, cleaned a bit more. Okay, malware bytes has found uh, 12. And as you can see. So remnants of that uh, fake alert. Okay, remove selected. Just going to say no for that now because I want this one to finish as well. I'd also, once this is finished, give it one more scan and then also try to do a scan online uh, with uh, with another a scanner online as in Bitdefender, uh, whatever, Nod32, any of those online scanners just to make sure the system's clean. So we'll let this go. Also, we've got host expert here to change the actual host file. And as you can see, this is what it should like look like, the host file. This saves you going into the location. You don't have to go all the way through there. But basically, this will write a new... Um, as you can see, restore the Microsoft host file. Okay. Okay, so that's done. That's finished now. We'll just remove those. Just going to quickly reboot. Now that Microsoft Security Essentials alert could be quite frustrating because no matter what you do in safe mode or anything it just won't allow you to run any programs. So just follow this video and you should be up and running in no time. So I'm just going to let this load up. There's one last thing I want to do. full screen. Ok, first thing I want to do here is go to my control panel, internet options. Just want to check connections, get rid of that other box. Check my connections, make sure everything's ok there. Land settings, make sure nothing like proxy servers on and it's going to another designation there to send me off to other places and the last thing I want to do is I just want to system restore I want to turn off system restore and then turn it back on again and this will clear out any restore points that may have had infections in them and that's pretty much it we should be up and running
and back to normal.